sequel trilogy. I love you too, and I wish the fans could see that. The Star Wars fans who are never satisfied don't deserve you yet. May the fourth be with you, uh, Jedi Masters, uh, Knights and Pazzo ones, and happy Star Wars Day 2024. And to celebrate this glorious day, I bring you a utmost controversial defense of one of the most reviled and divisive uh, uh, movie trilogies that to ever grace cinema, and certainly the most uh, hated now of the three Star Wars trilogies. This video will likely start a war in the comments section, uh, but uh, I don't care. I'm standing my ground with my defense of this extremely underrated trilogy, and why the Star Wars sequel trilogy deserves uh, a more positive uh, look back, and why it wasn't the death of Star Wars that uh, the haters uh, say. Also, this video will uh, go into detail about why the sequel trilogy is superior to uh, the uh, spin-offs uh, Rogue One and uh, Solo from Disney. I can't believe those movies get more of a pass than the sequel trilogy movies do. And also why uh, the sequel trilogy uh, is uh, uh, more Star Wars worthy than Mandalorian. I mean, I'm a fan of season one and two, but Season 3, not so much. And who would also take the sequel trilogy over Book of the Boring Fets uh, and or and uh, the Obi-Wan uh, TV show? And, uh, the Ahsoka TV show uh, doesn't uh, come close to the sequel trilogy. How has Disney not released a big Star Wars movie on the big screen in five years and have just resorted to Star Wars TV shows on Disney Plus now? It's not the same. You, you don't feel the magic like uh, you once did. I mean, uh, back uh, when uh, the sequel trilogy was uh, uh, announced, uh, when Disney acquired Lucasfilm in 2012, the Star Wars fans uh, uh, could not uh, uh, be uh, more anticipating. In fact, Force Awakens was the most anticipated movie of all time. You know that if you were alive in 2015 and they were like, oh, this is going to more than make up uh, for uh, the prequels and finally going to return Star Wars to its uh, former uh, great status. Don't you just miss the days back when the sequel trilogy was loved, when The Force Awakens released and uh, everybody was calling it one of the best, if not the best, Star Wars movie. And... Uh, but after The Last Jedi release, that's when fan base tragically began to turn away from the sequel trilogy. That movie was so divisive, it divided uh, the fans and the movie community like wild. I have never seen a more pulverizing reaction to a blockbuster. <laughs> Kind of like now how the MCU gets nothing but bashed, and I miss the days when the MCU was at its peak and loved. It really sucks uh, that the love for Marvel and Star Wars now has just gone kaput. And then the rise of Skywalker, I was keeping my fingers crossed would restore fans' love for Star Wars again with J.J. Abrams returning, but no. Tragically, uh, the fans reacted even worse to the rise of Skywalker, going as far as calling it the worst Star Wars movie they'd ever seen. Yes, as of 2020, people started calling the sequel trilogy worse than the prequels. That is going too far, way too far. I'm sorry, but just because the scripts for the sequel trilogy weren't written or planned at the exact same time does not mean that the trilogy automatically sucks and failed because there is a great deal of a good in it. At this point, it seems the fans are... Uh, of Star Wars are never uh, happy, and you can't please them. First, uh, they uh, bash the prequels, and now they bash the sequels. They can't make up their minds. And this uh, video is also going to be a proud defense of, uh, uh, of uh, the CEO of Star Wars, uh, Kathleen Kennedy. Yeah, she has... Uh, uh, gotten way, way, way too much hate from the fans, particularly from the male Star Wars fanboys calling her a sexist feminazi who wants Star Wars to be all female and uh, 
she's making the female characters look superior to the male characters and for the upcoming Ray movie which uh, uh, I am a uh, uh, super pumped for by the way uh, it's about time we're getting that movie as an epilogue to Rise of Skywalker she wants to hire a female director which is a wonderful Star Wars is finally getting a female director also about time that wants to make men uncomfortable I mean I'm she the female director who said that did not mean it in an offensive way people can overreact uh, and so uh, Kathleen Kennedy's The Force is Female is a good thing, not a bad thing. I don't care what the haters say. I am, you are not an SJW or a male hater if you want more strong women in Star Wars, far from it. I mean, Leia, she was one of the most beloved characters in the original trilogy. And uh, so why would you not want more characters like her? And there are far more female fans of Star Wars than uh, one would think. Uh, yes, it was uh, created by a man, George Lucas, but but my mama, she she adores Star Wars. It's one of her. It was one of her all-time favorite series. So the female fans surely would love more badass uh, female heroines in this saga to uh, cheer on. On oh, big, big defense for the character of Rey, still my favorite Star Wars character. She is not just an anti-male Mary Sue. Bullshit. So she uh, had uh, two of her best friends, Poe and Finn, were guys. Even uh, uh, re re redeemed a Ben Solo and brought him back, back to, to the lights. And, uh, well, and her being able to uh, do just about anything uh, power-wise made perfect sense if she inherited her power from freaking Palpatine but being his granddaughter you know how what a skillful Sith Lord he, he was had Rey gone on the exact same hero's journey Luke did people would have complained it would be it would have rehashed the original trilogy and uh, and, and that, and people were concerned Last Jedi would be Empire Strikes Back all over again, but thankfully it wasn't. And uh, making Rey the daughter of, of uh, uh, Palpatine also uh, ties into the themes of Star Wars, like uh, ev even if uh, you are on the dark side, uh, you can still make the right choice and go to, to the light, like uh, Anakin became a freaking Darth Vader, one of cinema's uh, 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 most... Uh, uh, iconic uh, villains and yet uh, he had a journey to go back to the light in the end so so the sequel trilogy respects uh, the, uh, the the themes of uh, the, the previous films and uh, plus uh, the sequel trilogy well it does uh, uh, kind of everything better than the prequels like uh, the acting is uh, ten times as stronger and more emotional. You see what a difference it makes when the scripts and, and dialogue are not written by George Lucas uh, and uh, the uh, effects are uh, go back to practical like the originals so the sequel trilogy will age better visually. The lightsaber fights uh, are uh, uh, more in line with the fights from the original trilogy and uh, keep the focus on the story and character not just uh, the action and uh, Rey did uh, lose a fight so to all you complainers Kylo practically defeated her in their fight on top of the ruins of the Death Star in Rise of Skywalker and it was only it was only when Kylo uh, saw a vision of Leia did Rey have the opportunity to stab him. And the sequel uh, trilogy uh, did uh, wonders uh, for uh, the uh, UK film industry, uh, being uh, shot at uh, Pinewood Studios. Uh, plus, so uh, we got to see the original uh, cast, uh, yeah, Carrie Fisher, Mark Hamill and Harrison Ford uh, all again. I mean, uh, surely... Uh, uh, that uh, was uh, uh, worth uh, going back to these movies for. And unlike Rogue One and Solo, the sequel trilogy uh, still uh, uh, kept uh, the opening crawl and uh, still kept the lightsaber fights. They still 
felt like your traditional Star Wars movie, unlike the spin-offs. As for the uh, two directors, J.J. Abrams and Ryan Johnson, yes, say what you want about them having different directions for the sequel trilogy to go. It probably would have turned, would have been better had J.J. Abrams also been in control of The Last Jedi, uh, but... Uh, but but JJ with Force Awakens and Rise of Skywalker under the circumstances he had, he had uh, the impossible task of of pleasing everybody, and uh, I think uh, he uh, true he he delivered with, with both his Star Wars movies, and uh, he did the best he could, but no but still got hate for it. With Force Awakens, people were like, oh, it's just a rehash of a New Hope. Well. You complain the prequels were too different from the originals, so how is it a bad thing that Force Awakens is highly reminiscent of the originals? Isn't that what you want is? And uh, the Rise of Skywalker, well, of course, correcting The Last Jedi, uh, well, uh, it's, uh, he did the best he could to uh, follow what Ryan did with The Last Jedi while also making it his own. He had no choice but to bring back Palpatine, and and plus, uh, bringing back Palpatine was an early concept idea to begin with, perfectly tying the three trilogies uh, together. And plus, uh, to see Palpy again, and uh, I'm all for that. I'm Ryan Johnson. I know I'm more of a J.J. Abrams fanboy, but I owe you an apology, buddy. I was too harsh on your version of The Last Jedi uh, seven years ago. It was not the movie I thought it was going to be, but I've learned now as a mature adult that movies not being what you think they're going to be is not always a bad thing. And yeah, and The Last Jedi uh, was uh, still uh, told a different kind of, of Star Wars a story, uh, which is why it does uh, deserve more respect. And, and and Ryan Johnson uh, would go on to be a master screenwriter with his uh, Knives Out movies and with Knives Out 3 on the way, can't wait. But you can see how much both of these uh, men love uh, the Star Wars franchise and I applaud Disney for giving both men the opportunity to, uh, well, ma make a Star Wars movie. On top of that, so they were blockbuster movie events to see uh, in cinemas uh, in December 2015, 17 and 19. Like, don't you miss seeing Star Wars movies at Christmas after the 2010s concluded? I sure do. At least we had movies that uh, eat, eat those Christmases uh, to uh, get uh, hyped about. So with all that said, that's why I am terrified to ever touch Star Wars should I ever become a director in the film industry. I I would I, I would be hesitant about ever directing a Star Wars film because would my Star Wars movie be as uh, panned as uh, the sequel trilogy by the fans who hate anything that isn't the, the original? So, uh, but uh, I'm proud to be one of the few uh, uh, sequel trilogy lovers uh, and uh, no sequel trilogy hater is going to change my mind. So uh, yeah, uh, it will be interesting to read the comment section for this video to say the least and uh, uh, the force is uh, particularly a stronger with uh, each of you uh, today. Hope you have an awesome day uh, uh, watching, well, uh, the, the nine Skywalker Star Wars movies or uh, or the uh, spin-offs, or the Disney Plus shows, or even the uh, TV series Clone Wars and Rebels, what, whichever uh, you uh, have in mind. Well, I love you guys, thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, what are your thoughts on uh, the sequel trilogy being underrated? Do you agree or disagree with that statement? Please comment and let me know. Please like the video and subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. And I'll see you next time. And remember, movies are us. Bye, guys.